All right, so as you can see, I'm exactly in the same spot where I ended the video the rest day with the curtain. It's just because I just finished here the video and now it's like the push day. So I'm just gonna start the introduction here because I couldn't do it at home. So here we're already at the gym in like the posing room and I'm just gonna start to talk briefly about the push. So to, to, uh, this morning was a breakfast, like three eggs, a tea, then a coffee with some pancakes, some PB, some jam, strawberries. And I just added also 20 grams of black chocolate because it's like nice for the pump, the black chocolate. It's just giving you a boost. It's nice for your immune system. It's easy calories, it's good fat. So just, you know, 20 grams of black chocolate as well. So I don't know how much calories is because I did not make the pancake, but probably if you count the calories from the eggs, the pancake and the peanut butter, the jam, plus the black chocolate, are roughly six, 700, so not bad, not from bad calories. Pancakes were healthy, just like, you know, eggs, banana, flavor, grabs, blueberries, random good pancakes, you know? And now it's like a bit uh, later than I planned because it's already 10. So I woke up at 5.30, like usual, but then I just overslept until eight which is really late, you know, when you used to wake up since like two, three weeks at like five, five thirty or six a.m. and you wake up at eight, it's still pretty early, but for you, it seems so late. That's just crazy, you know? Oh, you get used to it and oh, a small change, like just one, two hours later, you can really see how impactful it is. But I guess I needed to overslap, so I maybe got, I don't know, man, nine, nine, nine and a half hours of sleep, so I'm really ready now to push, you know? So today's push, so I got a bit more information about uh, what we're gonna try to target for the bulk. So I have a lot of chest sets during the week because I have to catch up on the chest compared to the back. So that's why during the upper body, I'm starting with the chest. That's why the push starts with the chest. And it's gonna be, this push is gonna be three exercises of chest, then two for the triceps, and two other exercises for shoulders. And tomorrow, of course, it's gonna be pull, but today it's push, so we will focus on what is happening today, you know, man? No need to talk about tomorrow. So I will go, I will warm up, and I will uh, see you later. The weight, I don't know how much is the weight right now, because I'm just gonna try to see weeks after weeks so how it's changing. Because, like, one day I can, like, gain a kilogram and the next day I will lose one so it's just too much fluctuation so I'm not gonna try to track from every day my uh, weight but I will do it like every every Sunday at the same time when I'm out of the bed and we'll see week after week already you know always gonna change so I'm just gonna go up there warm up and I'll, after I'll probably come back here for the pump check if there is no, you know, yoga or kickboxing classes with all those women, you know, moving around. And yeah, I guess it's gonna be a good, a good push. I just need, you know, to get a friend with the exercise that I knew, etc. that I never practiced before. But I guess, so this is still like the first week, it just, I never did that push exactly. That's like the push that the coach has made. So I also have to, you know, do it at first. And then next week, we're gonna try to beat uh, the performance that I have done today. But that's enough for now. Now we're just gonna go straight to the training and you're gonna see more about the training. Hopefully I'll be able to, I will dare to talk more during this training and trying to film at least one set of every exercise I'm doing. Then I can tell you just, I've, I've done three sets and you see at least one set, one set. All right, you guys, see you. We're gonna jump into the training. All right, here, first set. 10 and 13 reps. Should do peg deck, but there's no peg deck in that gym. So we go for this one. That's it.
Much over 15 reps, uh, 13, probably 15. I have to see the video. All right, so here is the third set. I've done the second set. I just had 1.25 each side, and I did 12 reps, so it's okay. Same weight now, so 11.25, and go between 10 and 13. Alright, so I hope the mic is on. Just gonna check. Alright, yeah, so here the goal is two sets between 9 and 12 reps. And yeah, that's it. Three minutes rest. I only put 30 kilograms because just don't need more for now. So let's see what we can do. Hopefully 12 and at least 9, you know. I guess I got 11 or 12, which is cool. No. I looked the video and every time I need to watch it like twice to be sure of the number of reps. So I've done 11. 11 is not bad. Of course, 12 is better. But now we can try again 11 or 12. Let's see. Set, but it's like a lateral inclined chest press and I never did that one and the feeling is weird so I have to try and see how it looks on the camera to see if it's okay or not before I start my two sets so I guess like that and then
Now I will look and we'll see. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna try and I just added five kilograms, so 15 is really low. We see how it goes between 12 and 15 reps. And I will send it to the coach and it will let me know if something is wrong. Now we thought about doing it and filming to get some feedback, you know. <coughs> Not good, it's last one. See now how many reps I've done. And take two minutes at first and do another one. All right, just doing my three weekly sets of calves now. So, I don't know, between nine and 12 reps. And I put here 50, 50 kilograms. So let's go second set. A bit boring, so I will only film one. But no worries, I will do three. Workout is done, so push plus calves. We quickly check the pump, but I feel like 
the light is not the best, so we try to get something not bad quickly. Not too light here. Light is quite shitty. All right, let's go home. It's not enough great to stay a long time to do some pump check, you know? In a few months when it's gonna be really big, then I will enjoy my pump check. No, it's more like an asshole because I'm doing it, but I don't like it, you know? So we'll see. I'll just go home and get some calories. I just, uh, coming back from the push workout, took my shower, got my lunch, so the lunch was just like tortillas, the one I meal prepped in the last uh, video. So the day 11th, day 11 of the book. I took three of those for approximately 900 calories. I added a coffee to it and one and grams of yogurt to make sure I have enough protein. So that was like the push workout. So now I check like how many reps I've done, etc. to track everything with the weight. There is one program which is I've done for all, not all, but a lot of reps that I've done unilaterals, uh, like the triceps extension or the incline chest press of, or the shoulder at the, at the cable pulley. I've done much more reps uh, with my left, no, right arms arm than the left side. So two options, it can be due to the fact that I started my set with the right side. So the left was more tired, even though I wasn't, I was trying to keep like a small rest between my right side and left side, or it can be due to that. Plus the fact that the left side is weaker than the right side. So that's why there is sometimes like I've done like, I know like 12 or 13 reps with my right side. I rested and I've done my set for the left side and I'll only have done like nine or 10, you know, and this many times. So I guess next week I'll be switch, start with uh, the left side. If the same scenario is happening, it just means that my rest is not enough between the two sets and then I can't uh, be as well good on my second, uh, Unilateral set. If I'm then at that moment next week, I get the same scenario with my right side is just lacking of two, three reps to match the same amount of rep that I've done just before with the left side. But if it's not the case, it means that yeah, this side is weaker. So I will start with the left side. And if I stop at 11, even if then I do my right side and I can do more than 11, I will stop because you should like. Uh, fix your limit on like the weaker side, otherwise you will just increase the gap between this uh, strength difference that you have between two uh, muscles. So that was one thing. The pump was only huge because it's not a workout focused on the pump, of course, that, that's not the goal, you know, the goal is hypertrophy. So the goal is really like to build muscles and add mass to the muscles. So also I checked the pump, like I first have done chest, triceps, shoulders, calves. So when I'm check when I checked the pump, like it was almost like 45 minutes after that I was done with all the chest exercises. So the chest pump was already a bit gone, you know? So that's also why it doesn't look maybe so good. The light is quite terrible as well in that uh, room, but it's more real at least. It's more real, that's for sure. So yeah, it, was, it wasn't a bad workout, but I can improve my movement. I can improve uh, the focus on some sets and be more uh, attentive to like, you know, what I've talked about the one side and the other side when I do uh, unilateral, unilateral set. So this will be fixed, but otherwise the workout was good. It was an hour and a half which is, I would say, I don't know, okay, because there is 
it's a push workout so if i do an hour i don't rest enough but i would say as long as it lasts for an hour and 15 minutes or an hour at 30 for me it's enough no more and it's not too long because i'm only training four times a week so training four times a week you need to rest a lot be between your sets like two three four five minutes you need a certain amount of volume not too much but still a certain amount of it you can't do a workout like a f 40 minutes you know so that's why i guess it's all right to do an hour an hour and a half if you train for hypertrophy you're natural and you only train four times a week so we're going to check my calories and uh, tomorrow I see you for pool. Pool is going to be great. I like pool because uh, I like the pump I get from the biceps during pool. Because my biceps are like, you know, quite like kind of... They're not getting pumped when I'm doing like the bag during the pool. But they're already, you know, getting a bit awake. And they're like, oh, they're just waiting, you know. And I'm like, hey guys, how's it going? And then... It comes their turn and then you're like, boom, boom, boom. You just like destroy them. So then they ended up by being really fully pumped, you know. And uh, yeah. So excited for the biceps pump today, uh, tomorrow. Uh, with the back pump. Excited also to see how it looks with the back. Uh, just excited to see the back pump. And growing again. Big muscles everywhere. And then it's going to be again. Uh, the weekend and I will have like the first checking so I will share with you uh, all my measurements like the size of all my muscles I will tell you if it's like contracted or not and then you can follow and see every week okay here it, it got like two more centimeters of on his uh, chest or biceps or whatever then we can really see uh, always the weight improving always the calorie per day improving the micro repartition and always like all this uh, improvement or we can translate it into my body so where is that weight is it just more calves size i i got or is it more biceps or triceps so it's gonna be nice and i will probably also do some uh i don't know not for sure but probably some uh unpump uh check to just see how it's going you know with a natural light with a pump but we'll see i guess it's enough for now and i will uh, see you tomorrow and i hope that you did not skip any leg day or any workout guys and i wish you a great day